For a quarter of a century, the Myrtle Beach Pelicans have been the heart and soul of the Grand Strand. Burns win! Burns win! The Myrtle Beach Pelicans have won the Carolina Lakes Championship! 2024 was no different. Let's relive the highlights and the moments that made this season unforgettable. Welcome to the 25th season of Myrtle Beach Pelicans Baseball. The new year was celebrated on April 5th against the Fayetteville Woodpeckers on opening night. This year's Pelicans roster featured two of the Chicago Cubs' top 30 prospects who just happened to be brothers. Returning to the beach was Christian Hernandez, who showed immense improvement by starting his season on a 12-game hitting streak. Younger brother Alexis joined him in the Pelicans clubhouse, and the two brothers worked together to make an impact early. Christian to brother Alexis, over to first, double play and he drives one out to left center field in the gap and pretty deep, it's off the wall. Hernandez has extra bases. His brother coming home to score. How about that? Also returning to Pelicans ballpark was Reggie Preciado, who learned some new tricks in the offseason. Here comes the throw by Preciado to home. Hernandez the tag and they got him. The month of May brought rarities to Pelicans ballpark. The first was a play some baseball fans never get to see. For his Hernandez, he steps on second and goes to first. There's two outs, throw back to third. Passiola's tag, a triple play. The sun was wide awake in Myrtle Beach on May 15th as the Pelicans played their first day game in 14 years. And the matinee crowd did not leave disappointed. Line drive to second base. Cooper the third has it. He throws home, but Olivo scores. And oh, happy day. The Pelicans walk off winners six to five over the Nationals. Opposed to recent years, the Pelicans fought through struggles in the first half, finishing at 29 and 37 and fourth in the Carolina League South Division. But the birds flew into the second half with momentum, especially after Drew Bowser's magic on Father's Day. Bowser into left center field. That ball's going to drop out in the gap. Gariola to second base. He's being waved home. Ball is all the way by the wall. Here comes Gariola, and that will do it. Drew Bowser has his moment. A two run double, and the Pelicans walk off winners 11 to 10 on Father's Day. Despite the team seeing vast improvement individually, the wins just weren't coming. The Pelicans dropped eight straight games from June 29th to July 6th, their longest losing streak in five years. Myrtle Beach drops to three and 12 and a half. They have lost eight consecutive games and they are 32 and 49 overall. But as quickly as they went down, the birds came soaring from the ashes to claim victory in 16 of their next 22 games and gave themselves a chance at a second half title. come roaring back. Myrtle Beach wins their eighth consecutive game. So far, one of the best performances up and down by the Pelicans this season, and it's come against the first half champions. This team lost eight straight, and now you're going into the all-star break. You just beat the top team in the league four games to two. Pelicans have won 10 of their last 13, and it's a great time to be in Myrtle Beach. During this winning stretch, Pelicans manager Buddy Bailey moved higher in the history books with career win number 2,391. He's got it. And tonight it's history for Buddy Bailey. He is third place all alone on the minor league baseball manager win list. Three players that contributed heavily to that success were promoted within a week in August. Outfielder Andy Gariola received the call to South Bend after leading the Carolina League with 18 home runs. Christian Hernandez was promoted after raising his batting average from 223 in 2023 to 269 this season. And fan favorite Jacob Wetzel, in his third year in a Pelicans uniform, was moved up after setting career franchise records with 135 RBIs, 155 walks, and 165 runs scored. 3-1 pitch by Dowd, and Wetzel drives that right center field. Mateo backing up, and he won't get there. Two runs batted in, and there is your new 
franchise RBI leader, Jacob Wetzel. These promotions made some room in the clubhouse for new faces to step in. One of those being Ariandis Ramon, who collected four hits in one game on August 15th, but not just any four hits. Ariandis Ramon has broken the Pelicans' single game doubles record. Four, no one's ever done that. No star was brighter than 2024 Cubs first round pick, Cam Smith. The 14th pick of the 2024 MLB draft, the Chicago Cubs select Cam Smith, a third baseman from Florida State. His arrival to the beach was slow at first, but all it took was one trip to Charleston to change that. He took flight in six straight games. Five games in a row, and that's a new Myrtle Beach Pelicans record. Leads off the inning and drives a fastball deep to right center field, and Cam Smith did it again off the light pole. He has hit a home run in six consecutive ball games. The Pelicans returned for their final home series against the Downeast Wood Ducks, where 2024 14th round pick Cameron Cisneros introduced himself with a monster game in the home finale. Cisneros connects, and that ball is launched. Right field and out of here. Cameron Cisneros, you have your first professional home run. Cisneros fly ball, deep right field, Mendez backing up, and he can't make the play. Rosario's around third. Cisneros slides into third. He's there with a triple. Despite the late season success, the Pelicans fell short in the second half, finishing 33-30 and, and second place in the South Division. No position on this team saw more growth than the pitching staff that started with a 457 ERA in the first half and ended with an ERA of 344. They also cut their walks down from 362 in the first half to just 245 in the second half. At the plate, the Pelicans paced the league for a second straight year in home runs, blasting 100 for the season. 2024 was a celebration. A celebration of legacy. A celebration of passion. A celebration of 25 seasons of Pelicans baseball on the Grand Strand.